You say that's my grave you've dug. Then I say to you, make certain you shoot straight because you'll never have another chance. Have Gun, Will Travel. Starring Mr. John Daner as Paladin. San Francisco, 1875. The Carlton Hotel. Headquarters of the man called Paladin. Uh, What's this? Uh, Miss Wong. Did you notice anything unusual about this newspaper when you brought it in? Oh, no, Sam, Mr. Paladin. Oh, oh no. Somebody has clipped an article out of the personals column. Here, oh. look at that. Miss Wong, not cut paper. I think you're protesting a little too much, Miss Wong. Now, where is it? Miss Wong, maybe not can find. Miss mm. Wong, maybe look in apron pocket. Oh. Ah. Uh, here, Mr. Paladin. Thank you. Now, let's see why you were hiding it from me. Mr. Paladin. To whom it may concern. Be it hereby known that on March 14th, 1875, in the town of Bedrock, one Paladin, resident of the Carlton Hotel in San Francisco, will be shot and killed by Bartolo Tejada. Mm -hmm. Who, this man? Well, I had him sent to prison several years ago. Apparently, he's been released. Will you not go, please, Mr. Paladin? He sounds like a very dangerous man. Oh... Well, I'll have to take the first stage. Oh, please, Mr. Pilot. Would you help me pack, Miss Wong? Uh, please, uh... Constipation is something people don't talk about much, but it can be a problem for anyone, even doctors. And when constipation occurs, it's interesting to see just what doctors consider important about a laxative they might use or recommend. Well, a majority of the doctors we heard from had this to say. A laxative should be effective, gentle, as close to natural acting as possible, and a medicine that can be used with complete confidence. Now, x has been popular with many doctors and millions of people over the years because pleasant-tasting chocolated x is effective. Overnight, it helps you toward your normal regularity. x is gentle. Next morning, it gives you the closest thing to natural action. And that's why many doctors and millions of people use x with complete confidence. x the laxative that helps you toward your normal regularity, gently, overnight. Is x in your medicine cabinet? <laughs> Bartolo Tejada was a man to be reckoned with. I had caused him to be sent to the territorial prison at Yuma some eight years before for killing five people in a stage holdup. It was a lengthy, rowdy trial, and the moment his sentence was pronounced, Tejada had risen slowly from his chair and, glowering blackly at me, announced that he would someday kill Senor Paladin. Bedrock was on the east side of the Tehachapis, halfway between San Francisco and Yuma. I arrived there on the 13th of March, the day before my scheduled death. Mr. Paladin? Huh? Uh, You are Mr. Paladin? Yes. Well, I am Arthur Jensen. I manage the Queen's Hotel here in Bedrock, Mr. Paladin. I have your rooms ready and waiting for you. What rooms, Mr. Jensen? The rooms you ordered. I didn't order any. But I have your letter right here in my pocket, see? My... Yeah, I see. It's very plain. You're asking for a suit of rooms at the Queen's Hotel, and there's your signature. Uh, Mr. Jensen. Yes? If I had wanted a suit of rooms in Bedrock, I'm sure I would have chosen your hotel. Shall we go? Uh, Yes, sir. (laughs) My suit of rooms at the Queen's Hotel consisted of one large room fronting on the main street. Besides the usual ornate chair and table, there was a gigantic bed for which I was very thankful. I wanted to face March 14th with a clear head and a night of sound sleep behind me. 
I had been asleep for what seemed to be hours when suddenly I was awakened by sounds from the street below. What? Oh. But we have no more room. But, senor, you make a great mistake. I might not be a reasonable to this man, mis amigos. But there are six of you. Amigos, this man from the hotel... He looks like a dancing man to me. Th this year also in his eyes. Then dance! Hey! You men down there! Quiet! Now leave that man alone. This is a peaceful town. Let's just keep it that way. But well, senor, he refuses to give us a place to sleep. I would rather see him dance. I warn you, don't start that again, Tejada. Who is this mongrel who calls my name? Never mind. Just keep your guns quiet. Hey, you're very bold, senor. Come down here so that I may see your face in the light. Or maybe you like to dance too. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> He's good with the guns. Very good, senor. You just shot the gun from my hand. Bueno, bueno. Uh, you come down here, senor, and I'll have what another gun. What's ready, going on right? here? And see for yourself, Why, that's my desk clerk down there with those ruffians. Here, you men down there. What do you want? Uh, who are you, mister? I'm the manager of this hotel. Oh, senor, hotel... We're tired men. We've ridden far. Are you, Mr. Tejada? Oh, si, Bartolo Tejada. Uh, your rooms are waiting for you, Mr. Tejada. I'll come right down. Muy bien, what, mister. You, you mean that you're putting him up in this hotel? Well, uh, what can I do, Mr. Paladin? He made reservations also. If you're smoking more today, but enjoying it less, try Camels. The Camel blend of costly Turkish and domestic tobaccos has never been equal for rich flavor, easygoing mildness, real smoking satisfaction every time you light up. The best tobacco makes the best smoke. Have a real cigarette, a real cigarette, a real cigarette, have a Camel! Even though I knew that Tejada and his men were staying at the same hotel, and that I would have to face him the next day, I managed to get a good night's sleep. In the morning, I found Mr. Jensen at the desk downstairs, and he told me that Tejada was still in his room. So I went into the dining room and enjoyed a quiet breakfast alone. At least, it was quiet until I felt the cold steel of a gun muzzle against the nape of my neck. <laughs> and now, Senor Trouble, I'm going to kill you for what you did last night. Take the gun away from my head, Tejada. Turn it around, stranger. <laughs> you! <laughs> it's you! And to think, gringo, I might have killed you without first seeing your face. <laughs> Chihuahua! To kill you like that would hurt me more than you. After all these years of waiting, Alisson? See si, me, amigo. <laughs> Go back to bed. But, amigo, you promised I could bury this stranger. Do as I say. I'm not going to need you till later. I'll let you know. I will dig the grave deep, Bartolo. <laughs> and long. <laughs> Senor Paladin is very tall. This is Senor Paladin? For oh, see. Si. Hey, Senor Paladin, you will let me know, cousin. See, si, I'm gonna let you know. <laughs> well, after 
eight years we meet again, no? Eight years behind bars and I had you to think about all this time. How has it been for you, Paladin? All right. While well, you're looking well. Uh, how is it known as put a bullet in you? What's to be gained by killing me? Oh, many things, senor. You know, you and I, Paladin, we got many things in common. I see you like good food, well, so do I. And you wear the best clothes, so do I. <laughs> and I know you have many beautiful senoritas where you live. Well, I do have beautiful senoritas. We're very much alike, senor paladin. Teada, we're nothing alike. You know, it's almost a shame that I have to kill you. Let's pretend for a moment that we could be friends, that, that you and I could go to San Francisco together. You could show me many things. I'd show you nothing. I wouldn't walk in the same street with you, Tejada. If I could do it again, I'd send you back to prison. I'm tired of this conversation. I'm looking at your dirty face. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, where are you going? Outside. I need some fresh air. Well, I can wait. I've waited eight years, Senor Paladin. Go, have your walk. I can wait till you come back. <laughs> Oh, Mr. Paladin, come in. Mr. Jensen. I wondered where you were. Haven't seen you around the hotel for the past hour or so. I was out taking a look at your town. Oh, well, sit down, sit down. Thank you. Will you have a cigar? Yeah, thanks. My own personal cigars. Ah, that's curious, Mr. Jensen. Sir? Your cigar case, it has the initials A.B. Isn't it yours? Well, uh, it uh, belonged to an uncle of mine. Oh, oh I see. Now, how do you like our town? Well, tell me something, Mr. Jensen. You said Tejada had a reservation at your hotel. That's right. May I see his letter, please? Uh, well, yes, of course. Well, I am sorry, Mr. Paladin. He doesn't seem to be here. Uh, maybe it's in your pocket with uh, my letter. Huh? Why don't you look? Oh, well, well now that's, uh, that's very strange. It, it is here. May I see it, please? Uh -huh. Very good. Now the other one, please. The one that I sent. Oh, all right. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Jensen, I'd like you to verify something here. Look, uh, does anything strike you about the writing on these two letters? Well, no, sir. Why? Oh, uh, I'd say that the handwriting is the same, wouldn't you? Well, uh, no, I'd... Oh, Senor Paladin, you've returned. Oh, uh, uh, just the intrusion to your office, Mr. Jensen, but uh, uh, Alisol told me that Senor Paladin would run away, verdad, Alisol? See, so I was wrong. I get the shovel now, Bartolo? P patient, primo. I'm not going to kill Senor Paladin with the first shot. You're very sure of yourself, aren't you, Tejada? Oh, see. Si. We go now, Paladin. We find a nice quiet spot. Uh, all right. Alisol, uh, you come. Bring your horse uh, and your shovel. Even if you've had embarrassing dandruff for years, you can get rid of it now in three minutes. That's all it takes with Fitch Dandruff Remover Shampoo. Yes, unsightly dandruff's gone in three minutes with Fitch, quickest, easiest of all leading shampoos. What's more, using Fitch regularly is guaranteed to keep embarrassing dandruff away. Just apply in the unique Fitch manner. Before you wet hair, rub in one minute. This way, Fitch shampoo penetrates right down to the scalp. Next, add water. Lather one minute to wash every trace of dandruff out of your hair. Then rinse one minute. All that loosened dandruff goes down the drain. In three minutes with Fitch, one rubbing, one lathering, one rinsing, dandruff's gone. At the same time, gentle Fitch can leave your hair up to 35% brighter. To get rid of dandruff problems forever, brighten hair too. Use Fitch regularly. Get Fitch Dandruff Remover Shampoo today. Only 59 cents. Oh, the, 
this will do, Paladin. Yeah, all right. Now we're going to stand back to back and then walk uh, 30 paces and uh, we'll face each other. And Alessol is going to drop a stick and when the stick hits the ground, we're going to shoot. It's agreed, huh? You really think I'd turn my back to you or your cousin? <laughs> well, it's all right. We're going to kill you anyway. Take his gun, Alessol. See, it's my pleasure. You take a step, Alessol, you die. Don't you see? He's sacrificing you to get me. You try to take my gun, I'll shoot you. Your cousin, the gringo, he's uh, fast with the gun? Why don't you find out? Wait, wait, uh, Paladin. There's one thing I forget. I promised my friends at the prison that before you die, you'll first chew and then swallow the lie you print about me. What lie? This! In the human newspaper! Are you going to kill Tejada on the 14th day of March at Bedrock? How I'm... Let me see that paper. See it, Gringo. No, don't read it. Chew it. Tejada, we've been taken. We've been used. Here, let me show you something. You see this paper? It's out of the San Francisco Call. There's a newspaper printed in San Francisco, and I'll read that. I cannot read. And I'll read it to you. To whom it may concern, be it hereby known that on March 14, 1875, in the town of Bedrock, one paladin, resident of the Carlton Hotel in San Francisco, will be shot and killed by Bartolo Tejada. But, uh, but uh, it says the same as mine, only... Yes, only in your note, you were the one who was going to be killed. Senor Paladin, this means we both have one enemy, the uh, same enemy. Exactly right, and whoever it is hopes that we'll shoot one another. Yeah, and if I kill you, then this person maybe kills me because I'm not going to know who he is. If I had a call, my feet hurt. I'll kill him now, then we go home, huh? No, cousin, I must think first. Hey, Paladin, let's get some wine. Yes, Tejada, I think we should have a talk about our common enemy. How about Jack Peters? Mm, Peters, yeah. uh, Jack Peters. No. I shall drink more wine. My head would think better. It's got to be someone we both know, Tejada. Someone that hates one or both of us. Now, you just think hard. Ayan, Ayan. La no. No, no, Tejada. Tejada, I just think of something funny. What is it, cousin? Estoy pensando en este muchacho. ¿Cuál es su nombre? Uh, oh, uh, blessed game. El cual mataste en la cárcel. What's that? Who did you kill? <laughs> oh, uh, Ali Soli, just trying to be funny. You know, a boy was killed in prison, and his papa thing that I do it, so he threatened to get revenge. What was his name? Blessed game. <laughs> blessed game. Oh, well, it was very funny. Bartolo, he carried his letter around with him many weeks in prison. So, and I come to visit him, I read it to him, and he said, this man, blessed game, will kill Tejada one day, he will get revenge for his son. <laughs> did you kill him, Tejada? Si, sí, he did it. Silencio. Que si yo? Que yo, eh... Paladin, uh, have you no more enemies? No, uh, this game is wearing on me. I think I'll go back to the hotel and get some sleep. We can continue this in the morning. Good night. Yeah. Ali Sol, uh, listen to me. See? Si? Follow him. He knows who my enemy is. Until I know, I cannot kill Paladin. Munch, munch, munch a bunch of Fritos Corn chips, it's not polite to smack your lips But you can't help it with Fritos corn chips Munch, munch, munch a bunch of Fritos Corn chips Whenever you have a party or friends drop in Serve a bowl of crisp Fritos corn chips And watch your guests dig in They're golden chips of corn just made to munch Serve them plain or with your favorite dip there's a special Fritos in a king-size style that's just right for dips. Munch, munch, munch a bunch of Fritos corn chips. You'll find Fritos corn chips taste just right whenever the occasion calls for good munching. They have such good crisp flavor, such good-for-you nourishment, there's contentment in every munch. Get Fritos today. F-R-I-T-O-S. Fritos corn chips. Munch, munch, munch a bunch of Fritos corn chips. <laughs>
Yes, who is it? Paladin. Oh. Oh, you're back, Mr. Paladin. Uh, what, uh, what happened? Perhaps you can tell me. What was supposed to happen, Mr. Blessing Game? Uh, blessing Game? Uh, Mr. Paladin, The initials I... A.B. on your cigar case stand for Arthur Blessing Game, don't they? Yes. You should have known you'd figure it out. Mr. Paladin, the only son I had went to prison. I was going to help him make a new life when he got out, but he was killed in a fight in that prison. Take heart, I did it. I swore that I'd get him. Why did you bring me into it? Well, I'm no match for Tejada. I had to get someone to do it for me. I learned that at his trial, he threatened to kill you. Then you put the ads in the paper. Yes, I knew that you were the better man, Mr. Paladin. Now that the job is done, what can anyone do to me? Well, there's only one thing, Mr. Jensen. Tejada is still alive. You see, so you're blessing him. Tejada lives. He breathes. Alison, si. take Paladin's gun. But Tejada... Do it! He's so very fast. Do it, I said. What are you afraid of, Alisson? He's got two guns on me. Do you need better odds than that? Bartolo, you take his gun. Son of a pig. Paladin, you die. Another time, Tejada. No. I drop the gun, Alisson. Drop it. Hey, don't shoot, senor. I'm a peaceful man. Paladin, you did it. You killed Tejada. My plan worked. Yeah. Maybe so. But I don't see your son. What do you mean? Killing Tejada didn't bring your son back to you, Mr. Blessing Game. Pepsi-Cola refreshes without filling. Why? Because it's truly light. Charlie, you're forgetting something. Wait, Kay, there's more. Yes, ice-cold Pepsi is the delicious refreshment that goes great at a picnic or a party. But, Charlie... And Pepsi goes fast. People like it, so keep plenty handy. There. Oh, you did fine, except for one thing. Well, I mentioned lightness and how Pepsi refreshes and how fast it goes. You left out Pepsi sociability. You know the Be Sociable song. But, Kay, I can't sing. I can. Listen. Be sociable, look smart, keep up to date with Pepsi, drink light, refreshing Pepsi, stay young and fair and debonair, be sociable, have a Pepsi. Well, at least I can say this. Pick up an extra carton of Pepsi today. Please do. Gun will travel. Created by Herb Meadow and Sam Rolfe, is produced and directed in Hollywood by Frank Paris and stars John Daner as Paladin, with Ben Wright as Hey Boy and Virginia Gregg as Miss Wong. Tonight's story was specially written for Have Gun Will Travel by Thomas Hanley. Featured in the cast were Tim Graham, Harry Bartell, and Don Diamond. This is Hugh Douglas inviting you to join us again next week when CBS Radio presents. Have Gun, Will Travel. Thank you.